So if you think about what HR's role traditionally has been, it's been as an incubator of policy and systems in which employees operate, right? Mm -hmm. So HR is really about prevention, competence, and compliance. Prevention of lawsuits and complaints, uh, ensuring that an organization complies with the laws that organizations are bound by. Uh, the HR's role then is to protect a company and its leaders from these unfortunate instances that might end up in news or in a lawsuit. Right. HR is and has been the core functioning body responsible also for organizational and skills development. So as a result, because of this focus on compliance, perhaps the topic of cultural responsiveness, another term for cultural competency, or DEI, has not been a top priority unless somebody is working in a multicultural or global company that requires these skill sets. Right. Um, and so compounding all of these over the last 10 years, we've now added the broad and deep topic of DEI, a field that requires at least some knowledge of anthropology, social science, psychology, sociology, uh, social and racial justice. So HR really has a tough job because they're dealing with compliance and many do not have that certification in DEI or intercultural communications. Yeah. Then the other thing I would say is that I would, I believe that HR's role then is to put an emphasis and intentionality to ensure equity and inclusion is embedded into policies, practices, and systems. They should be the driver of an equitable, inclusive environment on how these policies and systems are constructed and implemented and working in lockstep collaboration with the DEI team and leadership to make this happen. Mm -hmm. So um, in order to do this successful, successfully and to alleviate fears and worries about stepping on it, I believe uh, HR professionals need to be open in talking about what, what I've experienced as the elephant in the room which is basically a tension that exists between HR and the DEI function, which many companies today have added out of necessity and need. Mm -hmm. So where does this tension come from? It may originate from a per perceived difference of focus. The roles and responsibilities may overlap. Uh, people don't know if they're stepping on each other's toes. Uh, with uh, HR being focused on compliance and prevention, and DEI on sharing inclusive and equitable policy and the practices. Uh, however, I, I think people are starting to understand that, that these do intersect and in order to work well together, HR must think differently and reframe the thinking and the mindset that's hardwired in the ecosystem.